Thanks, call me. Welcome back. I don't know why I was cracking up halfway through that introduction, but here we are. It's Wednesday. Wednesday means hump day. Also puzzle day for this channel. As you can tell by the intro, I've received something quite colorful and cool. This is a jigsaw puzzle, not unlike the Jigsaw 29, which we featured a while back with that crazy Breaking Bad intro. Uh, this one kind of similar. So this was also presented at the, I'm gonna say International Puzzle Party because I'm not saying IPP. <laughs> This was also presented at the International Puzzle Party in San Diego, along with the uh, the Jigsaw 29, but this one didn't win. It got an honorable mention by the judges as one of the one of the greatest puzzles presented this year, that year. This was designed by Alexander E. Holroyd. And the goal is to fit all nine acrylic pieces within this square, so not unlike the one by Yu Asaka. This has the same principle, but this time you only have nine pieces. Sounds like it'll be easier. It is still a grueling and incredibly difficult puzzle, apparently. I don't see how this is gonna be that hard. I mean, come on. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to smash this one out within a couple minutes. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the whole goal here. Simple puzzle, looks cool. I love the intro we did, it makes it even better. Uh, if you guys want this puzzle, by the way, before or after this video, whatever you like, I left a link in the description. You can go check it out on Puzzle Master where I get most of my puzzles, links below. Also, if you don't mind, you can go ahead and hit the like button right now in case you don't remember. A lot of people forget, they tune out. Just, it's on your way in, you know what I mean? Just like it right now, you never have to like it again. Once you like a video once, it's done forever. Let's get into solving the nosy. Why is it called nosy? I don't know, maybe we'll figure that out. The, the nosy jigsaw puzzle. Here we go. Here we go. The nosy puzzle. Yo, I'm on a record here with uh, this timer, by the way. As I said, the whole point here is to fit all of these in this. Now I'm having a little bit of a little bit of an anxiety attack, not gonna lie, a little bit of a flashback to the last uh, jigsaw that we did was Jigsaw 29 with all these crazy pieces. Uh, firstly, I'm gonna lay these out just to see what we're playing with here. Okay, so we got three corners, um, which makes me think that they don't necessarily fit within the corners. That's a possibility. And then we have long any, short any. Okay, long any, short any. So this is essentially the same piece oh the same piece the same piece oh i see what's happening all the colors are the same pieces i see except for mr orange okay i guess the idea is just to start it up i'm gonna definitely start with this one i think that's the uh, outlier here oh, that works that works okay we're on a roll we are on a roll. Oh, I see. There are no two outies. So therefore that one cannot fit there. And also therefore, that's the only one that fits there. So, ooh. So the only any parts are the yellows. That's intriguing. Huh. So if the yellows are the only ones that are in, then they're the only ones that would fit on this, right? Oh, okay. So that would have to be going, that would have to be like that. Then something like this. And now I have two of these outies and I have two of these innies, so that's good. This one might be doing this. And then that one might be doing this. No, nope, no, nope, that's not doing that at all. Oh, here we go. Boom. And this one. That's fitting, yes. Oh, I see. Huh. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with those first two lines. 
then we have another Audi. Oh, so this one needs a place to go and it doesn't have one. So that's impossible that that works out like that. I'll tell you what, maybe this one in here, like this. That's definitely not going to fit there. The whole point is to make everything fit without anything protruding. That's it. Doesn't have to. Do you just randomly stumble? Is that how this works? This one can rotate like this, like this. Oh no, that doesn't work. So close, so close. Um, there's nowhere to put the any then. No. Oh protruding okay protruding that's interesting okay so there's no choice but for this one to be attached to two of the yellow ones however that doesn't mean they have to be in a corner correct that means it could be like this yeah oh that would not you could know because then nothing would fit there So it has to be in a corner. It must be in the corner. Well, it doesn't matter if these ones are facing away. It's still got soap suds on it from the intro. No. Hmm. You guys in the comments are gonna let me know if you find it, right? Right. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been it. Still protruding. Hmm. There's a bit of a logic game here because this here needs to go into those two. That's guaranteed. And then those two also have to fit into the yellows. So why don't we start with just all of this and then see what happens. Oh, but if that one is flipped, then can it fit? Right. No, because there's no piece that's going to fit there. That one, therefore, must be in a corner. Hmm. These got to be out. Then they have to be greens. Greens must go there. Right. So that. Restart. Orange piece must be number one. Because you see, it can't be here because if it attaches to one of these things, then there's no room for any other piece to fit. So it must be in the corner and then it must be followed up with a yellow. Orange, yellow, green, right? But then I've got two reds left and two yellows that need to fit. That won't fit there. If I go here, the red will not fit or will it? it will but now the orange the yellow won't fit no it won't like some weird solution here hope not okay back to square one 
this has to be like this. If it's not like this, then it has to be like this. That has to absolutely fit there, or a red one, or a red one. Yellow, green, uh-huh. Nothing fits here. The yellows must be there. We'll give them more openings, therefore giving them more options. Not this one, however. That one needs to be like this. So that's either a green piece or a red piece. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That will work. But now we're gonna be stuck again. This piece doesn't fit. It's still overlapping here. Hmm, bitty, bitty sneaky. So tricky. Really hope this isn't some obscure solution. Red, yellow, green do not make a line. Orange, yellow, green definitely works, but red, yellow, green does not. Again, red, yellow, green does not work. Unless... What? How is this not working? <sighs> so, it doesn't look like my plans are working here. This has to be like this. I don't see another way. Obviously this one can be, these two can be flipped around, but I don't see any other way for that fitting. It's either gotta be red or green. If it's red, I have to have another red down here. And then green can fit here. Then that doesn't fit, because it's red, yellow, green again. No, oh, so close. The green can't fit anywhere else. That is, it, there is no other choice. That is how it has to be. Or is it? Yes, it is. <sighs> okay. That means yellow has to be on it. This is the way it has to be. Red. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Green. And no. Nope. <laughs> so instead maybe this. And now this cannot work because of that. I mean, I don't know where to go from here. I'm gonna have Lee, my camera guy, sit in for a second, see if a fresh brain will help us out. So Lee, the one thing you need to know, this is the, like, all yellow pieces are identical, all red pieces are identical, and all green pieces are identical, right? There's an odd one out, there's this one. And this one, obviously, needs to be fitted in the yellow because that's the only one that has this type of any, right? So, it has to be like this, right? Uh, sorry, like this, or the other way. That's all we know. And this has to be in a corner because, because of that rule, there are no pieces that'll fit here. So, these spaces. So therefore it has to be in a corner. The space doesn't matter as long as they all fit in without overlapping. That's where you're at. The red ones, they're an even number for the yellow ones. Obviously they fit in those. But they have to be in a corner. They don't have to, but they have to fit within the yellow. Cause you can, you can have it here if you like. That's something you're into, but then it overlaps, right? Yeah. So take it away. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you like 10 minutes to goof around on this. I'll go make myself another coffee. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Never done one of these before. I uh, I get stuck on level one, so here we go. Thank God you solved it. You're fired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm fired if I solve it, supposedly. You get a raise if you solve it. How about that? Oh shit, that's incentive. I'll give you 200 bucks if you solve it in like the next 10. <laughs> While he was doing this, I was actually editing some of the B-roll, so I have no idea where he was at with this. What he was doing wrong or right, so I'm like starting from scratch here. He just told me about this corner process. This one has to connect to a yellow one, right? Hmm. That overlaps. The same thing will happen here. How does he do this? How does he do this? Alright. 
That won't work. Um, I wish there was like a live chat so you guys can help me out here. I don't see. So this has to connect here. Like there's no other way. But then nothing else. Dude, did you get to this point before? I've gotten to every point. There's nothing, there's nothing, I've been on for half an hour. Now you're gonna show me that was surprising. Oh my god. You starting to understand? Yeah. Well, I was telling whoever's listening. I don't know how you do this all the time. Uh, uh, uh. It doesn't matter if there's spaces. I don't get that. This one has to be... Because these ones don't fit in corners. Dude, I've got one left. <laughs> You've been there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're doing the exact same thing I did. Yeah, I know. Do we know that the red ones have to fit in the yellow? Where else would they fit? I don't know. Is there a gap somewhere that we could fit them in? Try. And the yellows are all identical. Same thing. No difference. It's hurting my brain. It is. I don't understand. You've tried this one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Been there, dude. I'm guessing that these are tricked. Like, that you think you have to put them in there. But I don't know if there's a gap that, that probably helps. Yeah, I understand helps. what you're saying. All right, let me try. Go finish it. <laughs> I don't have that race. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, no race for you. I'm stealing your coffee, too. <laughs> oh, it's decaf? Yeah. Oh, never mind. All right, so... You did say something which was interesting. You said, are all the pieces identical? And that's not actually something I verified. Yeah, they are absolutely identical. Yep. See what he means by like, if the gaps aren't, but they are. Why is this puzzle gonna take me hours? Just really going around in circles constantly. comes down to that last piece. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me for sure, that's it. I'm almost there. Did it, boom. Yo, come look at the solution. Is it, is it because they're tricky? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I didn't know how, but. That's great. That's really great. That's such a good solution. Wow. I am actually thoroughly pleased with this puzzle. There had to be some type of trick to it, but I, man. The reason this is so good is because you take for granted that this piece, and that's that's where they get you. Because this, you assume, that it has to be in a corner because it's the only one that fits into these. That is your baseline assumption. And if that baseline is wrong, then you're, you're, off, you're off to a bad start, my friend. So that's the lesson learned here. Never assume anything. And I should have known that because I've done all these puzzles before. I should have known not to assume that the one assumption is the thing that isn't. The thing that is, isn't always the thing that is. Sometimes it isn't the thing, right? Quote me. There you go. All, wow. Mm. Actually happy. That is really great. I can see why this won a prize or a mention. Super great. Awesome. Woo. Well, hot dang, that was a knee slapper. Let me, I'm thoroughly impressed with this puzzle. It's kind of fun. Sat there for half an hour, scratching my noggin. You know, came up with a few different uh, alternative solutions in my head. Uh, and then we got Lee involved, which is really cool to see if he could shed some new, because you know, sometimes even somebody who doesn't solve puzzles, 
they, they have a fresh take on it, right? So it's like coming back to a puzzle after you put it down. You get a fresh take, you're reinvigorated, maybe your train of thought is completely different. I think all in all, stepping away from this puzzle and coming back to it after definitely made me think that there is no practical solution to this, that, that the solution that you think is, isn't. And that's the one thing I got away. And if anything, if you're ever solving puzzles and you have a hard time getting frustrated, put it down, come back to it. Uh, you might be you might be hit with like, uh, you know, a light bulb, a eureka moment. And in that moment, I kind of was, so I'm really happy we figured it out. Under an hour for a nine piece jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and like it. If you didn't already, if you did, ignore that. Subscribe, notification, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Enchanté. <laughs>